people have tried to make the safest bases in Minecraft. But they all are kind of not that good. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be building the actual safest base. Oh my... What the heck? That is filled with tons and tons of defenses. It's way bigger and impossible to get inside. Because my friends steal from me non-stop. And I... I kind of need to fix that. So the first step is to spend five hours building an entire new base. There we go. And to make sure no one can break into it, this is going to be a challenge. So my plan is to build layers and layers of defenses all around it. And for the first few rings, we're going to fill them up with easy little defenses. Like the first defense layer being a bunch of cactus. Then as we work our way up higher up the rings, we're going to make the defenses more deadly and even more insane. Like lightning to turrets to even insane TNT machines. Bro! There we go. The first layer of defense is done. Cactus isn't that effective, but uh, it, it does some damage. And the next easy layer we're going to add is just simple end crystals. Because they can literally one hit players. I don't know why I just did that, but um... Yeah. And to make this layer a lot more effective, I'm gonna add magma blocks and some lava on the floor. Because people have to be ground level with the crystals for them to actually do damage to them. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna be inviting my friends over. So I'm gonna do everything I can to make this as hard as possible. The third is fire, but not just regular fire, but blue soul sand fire. Because if you didn't know, blue actually does more damage than regular. All right, all the soul sand is placed. Gonna set it on fire. Let's craft a bunch of flint steels because, uh... And after breaking over 50 flint steels, it's now all lit. Yo! I don't know why, but this actually looks cool. And lastly, let's add cobwebs over it because only having fire as a defense isn't that, that good. Also, why the heck is it red when you're standing on blue fire come on minecraft you you gotta fix your game and the last easy defense on the list is gonna be our first turret on this base and no it's not just gonna be a stupid arrow dispenser turret this is just horrible it's gonna be blazes what the heck yep we all know it feels like blazes literally have a box sometimes but why not add them onto the base get it come on come on Yes, there we go. Bam, go into the overworld and onto the base. And there we go, a blaze turret. And if you didn't know, blazes can shoot pretty far like that. While you're making your way through the first layers of defense, blazes. Oh! Oh my gosh. Holy, okay. I was not expecting that. As I was saying, the blazes will be constantly shooting at you. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty pretty good addition so now let's build the rest of the blazes cages which is a uh a lot <laughs> oh my god and now the fun part i guess putting them all in super the, the super uh, and there we go all the blazes are in that that was just painful i'm starting to realize how long this space is probably gonna take and we're only at the beginning but before we remove all the temporary blocks on the blazes so they can actually shoot finish off the easy defenses let's just quickly build a little chain fence all around and a layer of sweet berries at the front there we go oh my god bro it took me five hours to get all these berries but it was worth it because it had some extra protection i i guess but with that the easy defenses are done just don't mind the force fires in the back and even with the crystal and blaze combination the base is just 11 percent safe now my friends can most likely still get inside but this is literally just the beginning this is what it looked like at the start of the video versus now oh yeah it's gonna look insane but now it's time to step up our game and build the medium layer defenses these are gonna be a lot more effective <laughs> and the first one being a potion raining trap specifically with instant damage to potion because they do a bit of damage it is three hearts with only one potion and to make uh all the potions we're gonna need for this trap which is a lot <laughs> we're gonna need a ton of nether wart blaze powder spider eyes gunpowder sugar brown mushrooms glowstone and lastly fermented spider eyes um um, yeah, brewing all these potions might, uh, might take a little while. Bam! Oh, 
I'm a little bit too far. Bam! I just built a fully automatic potion brewing machine. That totally didn't take me 30 minutes to build from a tutorial. But now while we wait for all the potions to brew automatically for us, let's build that actual trap. All right, I covered the layer all with black stone. And what I'm thinking is right when someone stands on this layer, all the dispensers on the floor will automatically shoot tons of instant damage to potions all over them. Dealing a little, a little bit of damage. <sighs> So to make that work, I'll first cover the whole layer with blackstone pressure plates to see right when someone steps on this layer. And also the dispensers are now kind of camouflaged. Like it, you can't even see them. And now we just got to build some redstone under it. I'll activate all the dispensers right when someone stands on this middle pressure plate. So I guess let's test it. Oh, oh, yep. It, it works. Why the heck is it so loud? Oh my gosh, you gotta chill out, bro. All right, now let's actually test it with the potions inside. And I only filled up the dispensers halfway, so let's test it out. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I didn't expect them to shoot that high, but holy. Based on how much damage one potion does, thankfully I wasn't standing under that. And the dispensers weren't even full. Yeah, this layer is gonna be pretty effective. All right, and now let's do the tedious part. Build the same exact trap around the whole layer, which took six hours, but it's finally now done. Yes, I'm not kidding. It literally took six hours. And to fill up all the dispensers, I think it'll be good to also add poisonous potions as well, because they're also pretty annoying. Like this lasts a whole minute. Oh my God, bro. Why did I splash this on? And there we go. The potion trap is completed. This layer might look harmless, but little will they know. Under there's hundreds of dispensers locked and loaded with thousands of potions ready to fire right when they step onto you. I have a feeling this one might actually work. I don't know why. But next up on the list, I want to build a simple floor falling dripstone trap. But we're going to make one go around this whole layer. Yes, I'm not kidding. Okay, why did I just do that? I almost just died, bro. So let's make a massive hole, which took me four hours. Look how long this is, bro. And grab a bunch of these drip stony things in a cave. And if I dug this hole deep enough, it should deal a pretty decent amount of damage when you fall down here. Oh, oh, okay, good. It, it, it works. All right, all the driftstone is placed. And next to make the massive falling floor, we just need wood to craft a ton of signs. And I literally destroyed a whole forest to get all of these. Like, look at this, bro. Oh my God. And also mine a bunch of sand because we also need a lot of this to make it work. And how this is going to work is right when I flick this lever that's connected to this piston, it will break this one sign, breaking all the other signs, causing a chain reaction and all the sand to fall. But instead of just having this small area be the trap, we're going to build it going all the way around. But uh, placing down all these signs might, might take a little while. Uh-huh. Oh, no, bro. You cannot make this up. Why did that just happen? And there we go. The sand trap is finished after four days. But now whenever I see someone about to walk onto the trap, all I have to do is flick this one lever and it should all go off oh my gosh yeah this is gonna look insane and i can't wait to do that and for the next layer we're gonna build a bunch of these machines and i know you're probably thinking what the heck even is this but what if i told you with one of these simple tiny little machines we will have the power to strike tons of lightning by a push of a button Yes, I'm I'm not kidding. All you need is the weather to be thundering and throw a trident on it just like this. Oh my gosh. And when I break this one redstone. Oh yeah. And just like that, lightning. Which is pretty pretty insane. And it also does a ton of damage. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty insane. But this is only one machine. And we're gonna add a bunch around this whole base. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what it's gonna look like. 
Let's mine a bunch of copper. Make all the lightning rods. We're gonna need some slime blocks. Some pistons. That will make into sticky pistons. And build all of the machines. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully this doesn't crash the server. And I think it'll be good if we make the floor like honey blocks. So it would slow the player down when all the lightning is striking. And don't worry, I AFK'd the honey farm overnight, as you can probably tell. And hopefully this is uh, enough. And it's not. It was only enough to fill up half. Uh... All right, well, we'll just worry about that later. But to finish off these lightning machines, we need tridents. And I do have a trident farm, but it's kind of uh, kind of slow. So slow, in fact, after AFKing it for one hour while I ate breakfast, it produced only one. One drowned. And he doesn't even have a trident. Bro, what the heck? So are we going to fix this problem? There's absolutely nothing we can ever do bro like all right the new trident farm is done as you can tell it's very very chunky i don't know why but i'm gonna afk while i eat lunch let's see how much we get hopefully it's good it, it took like three hours to build okay it's been a little bit over an hour let's see how much we got what the what Bro, what? Only three tridents? Bro, I'm gonna need a trident for every single one of these machines. And after an hour, I only got three tridents? Okay, well, let's just say it has taken a little bit longer to get all the tridents. This is one of the reasons why this video is taking forever. So don't blame me, okay? I totally wasn't the guy who planned this video. <laughs> and to make the tridents be able to have lightning when you throw them down, we need to put the channeling enchant on every single one. So let's make a lectern and trade with this random villager until we get it. Oh! Bro, bro, bro! <laughs> Yo, that was actually first try. <laughs> what? I was about to make a joke that we got it first try, but we actually did. And now with all the tridents enchanted with channeling, I'll place down the rest of the honey floor, which, by the way, took a whole nother night of AFK in it. But with that, the whole lightning layer defense is complete. Oh my gosh. And don't worry, I'm going to be inviting my friends over when it's actually thunderstorming. So all the machines will actually work because that would be uh not good and i'm probably gonna have to give myself a lot of time put one single try down all these machines before they come but it's gonna look insane if only the thunderstorms weren't so rare i would be testing out all these machines right now all right the last medium defense layer we're gonna add is gonna be our second sets of perks on this base but you might be wondering how are we gonna top the Blaze turrets we already have. Oh my god. Oh, I just started a forest fire. Uh, that's not good. Well, there's one mob that has 100% accuracy. It does a decent amount of damage. And that is... Guardians. Just, just look at this. Ah! Woo! Yo! Oh my god! There was like a second of time when I had like half hearts, then... Oh my. Yeah, they uh they do a lot of damage. They literally have lasers. Like look at Oh my god, oh my god. So they're going to be perfect for the safest base. All right, I just built a track so we can transport the guardians and also killed all the elder guard. Why the heck is there so many guard what the heck? Okay, uh... But yeah, I killed all the Elder Guardians inside, so we don't have to get mining fatigue. But yeah, you're probably wondering, how the heck are we gonna get these Guardians inside a minecart on this track? Well, I have a plan, I think. First, we just gotta build a barrier water thingy majiggy. Drain all the water inside of it, just like that. And at the very bottom, we'll place soul sand very fast so we don't die. <laughs> Ah, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm... Okay, I'm not dead, but... And now when they swim over the soul sand, they will get pushed up into this box. Oh my god, there's a lot of guardians. And now just get one into a minecart. Come on. Yes. We can go through. Transport them in the nether. And put them on the safe base. And there we go. Oh my... Oh yeah, this is gonna be overpowered. Look how far he can reach me from. What the heck? This is literally aimbot. Bro, can... Bro, stop. Okay, bro, can you... Can you stop shooting me, please? Please? Oh my... Okay, well, let's just hope adding all these guardians won't take as long as the blazes did. Because I kind of don't want to spend another three full days transporting mobs. 
And while I'm painfully transporting all the guardians, I just want to say you guys, the space crew, have been growing insanely fast. Like, we literally only posted 13 videos on this channel, and we're already at a million subscribers. What the heck? That's just crazy, and I can't thank you guys enough. And if you just subscribed or been subscribed, you guys are the OGs. I'll try to keep on making entertaining videos for you guys and get a better upload schedule, because, yeah, it kind of sucks. But I won't let you guys down, hopefully. <laughs> all right, and all the guardians are in. It didn't take as long as the blazes did, but it, it was a short, like, you know five hours yeah it still took a, a long time i accidentally put two guardians in one spot and uh i'm just gonna leave it like that because why not and to finish this off let's just add a bunch of prismarine wolves everywhere and i just realized i should have placed these down first okay i'm not good i'm not good oh my god bro what the heck and these wolves are just like a obstacle they have to get around uh but now we have guardian turrets oh my god i gotta get out <laughs> well, with all the medium layers done the base is a good 27 percent safe i would say you know it's coming together pretty pretty well look at that and it's just gonna look even crazier when all the hard and insane defenses are done the first hard defense layer is gonna be the most deadly yet and will be capable of killing a player with full netherite armor in seconds and no i'm i'm not kidding and also i'm wearing invis so the guardians don't see me <laughs> and that being a rocket machine gun wall many people actually don't know this but when you craft rockets with any dyed firework star they will explode just like that i don't know it's for like decoration or something and when you're close to the explosion you will actually take damage just just like that and that might not seem like a lot of damage but when you craft rockets with a bunch of fireballs just like this oh it starts to be a lot more powerful <laughs> and that was only with one rocket oh my Yo! Yeah, this is gonna be deadly. So let's make a wall of dispensers all around the base. My plan is for all of them is to be able to shoot thousands of rockets at once, which is a flick of a lever. So let's connect each dispenser with some redstone, which I just realized is gonna take so much redstone to do, but it'll be worth it, right? <laughs> All right, but all the dispensers are connected with repeaters. We now just have to connect all of them into one redstone line. So just like this. Oh, I ran out of redstone. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just going to go in creative mode and get some more. Hold on. And bam. All right, there we go. We should have enough redstone now. That was a joke. Please don't take it seriously. But after building the rest of the redstone stuff to make this all work, all the dispensers should now be linked up to this one lever. So let's flick it and quickly see if it works. Oh. oh, what the heck? Okay, for some reason, my sound is glitched, but I think it's working. What the heck? Like, the game can't even process because there's so many dispensers going off. Oh, yeah, my sound is broken. Well, I guess that's how you know it's going to be insane. All right, let me turn it off so I can actually hear my game audio oh my gosh but before we fill up all the dispensers with rockets there's one problem because people will only take damage from the rockets if they're standing right on the edge and that's not good so to fix that problem i'm just gonna spam a bunch of netherrack fences all around this whole layer and now all the dispenser rockets have something to land on with a different range and the players will get hit from everywhere and just to give you an idea of how much damage the rocket wall is going to be able to do i just made this little version of the rocket wall with only one dispenser filled it up with you know you know 10 rockets and let's see how much damage it does all right i'm just gonna run if it does too much damage Three, two, one. oh what the ah oh my god uh okay i might have made the rocket wall a little bit too overpowered just imagine around this whole layer and what it's gonna look like and to fill up all the dispensers with rockets um it's gonna take 20,000 gunpowder. Because just to craft a stack of these rockets, it takes two and a half stacks of gunpowder. And it might look like I have a lot of gunpowder, but this is nearly not enough to make all that we need. And it's gonna take days to get all the gunpowder and craft it. But lucky for you guys and the power of editing, we can just speed through all this uh, for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys out. And uh, yeah. <laughs> all right and back. all the dispensers are filled with rockets and ready bro that took way too long i actually can't wait to see what this will look like i thought the sand layer was gonna be laggy but no this might be 
Uh, well, let's start working on the next defense, which is going to be our third turret on this base. And yes, it's going to be better than the blazes and guardian turrets. Just, you know, just, just wait. Just need to build iron bar walls and a roof. And I say that's a pretty good size cage. <laughs> and if you haven't guessed already, yep, it is a gas. Because these guys are way more far range and would probably be kind of annoying. Oh. So let's build all the gas cages. Perfect. And to transfer the gas over to our base, I'll just build a spawning platform on the nether roof. Wait for one to spawn and put it in a minecart. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so weird. Go through the portal. All right, perfect. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I forgot to build the overworld portal. All right, there we go. Now the gas won't just die when it comes through. And these glass blocks should keep it from escaping. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, I got the second gas. And now we just got to put him in his cage. Can you get in there, please? Get in the minecart. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Bro, he looked like he was going to eat me. What the heck? Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Go inside. <gasps> yes, yes, it's working. Perfect. Okay, he's in. All right, there we go. Oh my god, that looks so weird. <laughs> Look at his legs. He's just poking through the platform. All right, the second gas is in. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Oh my god. You guys are lucky you didn't have to watch me do that. <laughs> all right, and let me just break the front iron bars so they can actually all shoot. And now people will constantly be shot by a gas. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be annoying. But really quickly, there's still a little problem. If people just stand right below the gas, it won't be able to shoot them anymore and they'll be safe. So to quickly fix that problem, I'm going to build some little TNT traps. Oh yes. When they think they're safe from the gas shooting above, when they least expect it, they will fall down in these little traps. And this might not seem deadly, but trust me, they are. Just, just just a little bit and with all these trap doors placed like this it's impossible to escape so yeah i just got to be careful to not fall in this as well and i'm gonna build them all around the floor so it hires the chances of them actually falling in and don't worry i'm also gonna add powdered snow on top so it's not just like a gaping hole and there we go the gas turrets and the tnt trap layer is finished now you'll be constantly shot by gas while trying to break into this base which is probably gonna be super annoying ah! but now it's time to step in up a notch. You might have noticed that we ran out of circle layers to build defenses. And that's because the rest of the defenses from here are entire machines that are going to be up in the sky. So if you think the base right now is insane, these machines are just going to make it 10 times better. And we'll start off with the smallest machines and work our way up to the more bigger insane machine. Trust me, it gets insane first up the arrow cannon this tiny little machine right here can shoot hundreds of arrows at once using tnt and no i'm not i'm not kidding we just need to flick this lever right here all the arrows will start to load up just like this and now whenever we flick this lever it should launch the arrows Yo! Oh my god. Dang, okay. All the arrows shot in one straight line, but for this little tiny machine, that was actually pretty decent. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be way worse. But anyways, I'm gonna build four of these on the base. So we have one for each direction. And let's preload all these machines up so they'll be locked and loaded and ready. So if anytime anyone comes, I just gotta press this one lever. Second up is a downwards TNT launcher. So we can shoot people from right above. Oh. And don't worry, it's not this tiny little machine. <laughs> it's gonna be way bigger. We just need some dispensers, slime blocks, redstone. Well, not this much redstone, but still a decent amount. And this does require a good amount of TNT to run. So let's craft some up. And this should be everything we should need. So let's build all the way up in the sky and start building the machine. And this should be the perfect height. So the TNT will explode right before hitting the ground. So it'll still do damage to the player, but won't break any of the blocks because that would not be good. Let's place the rest of the dispensers that will shoot the TNT. The slime blocks that will launch the TNT downwards. Redstone going all around just like this. And then buttons to activate it. And there we go. The downwards TNT launcher is complete. And I would test the machine right now but i'm kind of scared it's gonna mess up and break the base so to show you i'll just quickly build a whole nother one outside of the base because they're actually pretty simple to build and all we have to do is click this button and there you go it shoots straight down super fast 
Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these slime blocks right here makes the TNT shoot down super fast. Like, bro, holy crap. But just imagine seeing this coming down straight at you. Like... You can't even run. And I think I'm going to build not only four of these around the base, but eight of them around the base. Oh, yes. You heard me right. This is going to be insane. All right. They're all built. And now let's connect them all up with redstone just like that. And it does take a solid three seconds for the redstone to trigger all the way up here because it's so high as you... <laughs> As you can see. But now with a single press of this button, I have the power to shoot down TNT all around the base. So uh, don't mess with me, bro. Don't mess with me, bro. Also, I can't help but point out, look how insane this looks. Yo! Just imagine you're chopping down trees on a server and then you walk into this. Be honest, are you trying to break in or run away? Oh, ah! The third machine is going to be a little bit different from the others. And instead of using TNT or arrows, we're going to be using anvils. Because it does damage when it falls on you and yes it doesn't do that much damage but if the anvil falls from a higher height it could easily pop their totem and if there's a ton of raining above you falling from a big height as well it it might be a different story <laughs> and to build this huge anvil launcher machine we're gonna need a ton of oh ah, yo, get the heck out of my house we're gonna need a ton of anvils so let's head over to my iron farm that has a, a ton of iron craft a bunch of anvils and i think this should be enough and get all the redstone we'll need for this build as well there we go i think i'm gonna build it right here so let's start off by building a slime block platform which will be where all the anvils will be placed and to make all these anvils be launched everywhere hopefully landing on someone i'll just build redstone under it making all the anvils fling straight up in the sky like that oh my god i don't even know why that's so cool yo this is actually so sick and to make the anvils actually be launched everywhere instead of just going straight up we just need to build a tnt dispenser behind the anvils which works similarly how the arrow machine works and the, like the tnt go bam and it, and it launches everywhere but anyways it should be ready before we test it though let's build three more on each side and there we go and let's see how they will work oh boy please Oh, I forgot about this redstone. But anyways, yo! <laughs> I don't know why, but that was like in slow motion. <laughs> and the reason why I put two layers of anvils on it is because we can shoot it two times before having to like reload it. Yeah! <laughs> bro, this is just fun, bro. Oh my. I guess the bad thing about the anvil launcher is uh, you have to pick them all up. And also they're damaged, so you can't reuse them again, sadly. What the? Wait, anvils can be on... Powdered snow? Huh? Wait, how does that make sense? Okay, my brain hurts now. But so far, these anvil cannons has to be my favorite. Like, the idea of just launching anvils at people. Like, like this stupid person. All right, well, the next machine up is so powerful that it will be able to shoot a stack of TNT, hundreds of blocks in one straight line. And that sounds perfect for this base. So we can shoot at people that aren't even inside it yet. I just have to be very careful building it because it can easily, uh, blow up the base. But anyways, the machine is finished. How this will work is these dispensers right here. We'll dispense TNT in this little hole. Then a few seconds later, these two dispensers right here at the front. will dispense tons and tons of TNT. Flowing down this water stream right here. Then all the TNT in this little hole will explode and BAM! It gets shot out to outer space yeah i can't explain but let's build the second machine third one and the fourth to show you guys what this machine is capable of i just built the machine outside the base again you know just just one little little shot oh oh my wait there's way more tt I did not expect that. Nah, I just built four of those? Yo, <laughs> bro, this small, tiny machine can shoot th th that far? Okay, yeah, hopefully these machines will be able to shoot over the whole base. Because uh, because that would not be good if it hit the gas or landed in the middle. But the base is getting pretty, pretty chunky. And if you thought this chain TNT launcher machine is insane, just wait, bro. Just, just wait, just wait. And the last hard defense we're gonna add into the base, before we finally move on to adding the insane defenses, is the machine that's gonna sit right on top of the base. Because this one machine will be able to shoot TNT fully 360 degrees. And, uh, I actually have to be super careful building it. Because if one thing messes up, a lot of stuff gets blown up. Some chains. We just 
dispensers at the top. Note blocks like that. Just trying to pretend I know what I'm doing. And then lastly, two string just like that. I don't know why, but... <laughs> and how this machine should hopefully work is these three dis... Oh, bro. Come on! Anyways, we're inside a cloud, but these three dispensers right here will dispense TNT, flowing down this water stream till right here. And the last second until they blow up, these eight dispensers on top will dispense more TNT, launching all of them all around the base. So hopefully that made sense, and let's turn it on! No, I'm just kidding. I am just kidding, bro. For this machine, we're gonna have to wait for Caleb to come over, because I am not risking my whole base getting blown up before they even try to break in that would not be good also let's really quickly fix this redstone line so the machine doesn't blow it up bam a little bit scuffed but it works but with that the hard defenses are complete and i would say the base is around 67 percent safe after that pretty good pretty pretty good like look at this look 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 what i built bro i'm lonely Holy crap. But next up, we're finally adding the insane defenses. These will make the base be 100% safe. Not stupid 67. Come on now. The first up is an arrow raining machine. I want to make a machine that's similar to the first arrow cannon, but a million times better. What I mean by that is have all the arrows be poisonous arrows, all on fire, and lastly, shoot 100 times more than this. Because come on, this is a lot of arrows, but we need a lot more. <laughs> First, to get a bunch of poisonous arrows, I'll just trade with Fletcher Villagers. And the Fletchers only have a 1 in 15 chance of actually selling poison arrows. But luckily, we got it. Oh my. This just saved us so much time. Yes. We also got an instant damage to arrow Fletcher. So I guess we can do like a mix of them both. And I think this is enough arrows for now, which took the whole yesterday to get. As you can probably tell by my voice, uh, I just woke up. It's the next day. And uh, yep. Yeah. And now that we got the arrows, let's get all the rest of the materials materials will need and start building the machine i had to move the gas cage a little bit downwards just to make room for the machine because it's gonna be so big and to start i'll build a slime block platform which all the arrows will be on top of because this machine is going to work very similarly how the anvil launcher works all right, I just built the redstone. I'll push the arrows up in the sky. And don't worry, I'm not going to be manually shooting all the arrows on myself. Because that would take way too long. I'm going to build a redstone arrow dispenser machine on top. So now I just have to load these chests with arrows. I didn't fill them all the way up, but just a test. And bam! And now the arrows should be all shot on the platform automatically. Just like this. And oh my gosh. This isn't even that many arrows and I'm lagging. That's how you know this machine is going to be insane. And now let's build a tnt launcher which will launch all the arrows in the sky fill this up with tnt now tnt will be launched out of this hole into the sky launching all the arrows everywhere so let's build all the rest of the redstone sinking all of this up making it all work and it is time to test it so let's click this button and start loading up the arrows oh my gosh okay it's loading up we just gotta wait here for a bit. Oh my god, I forgot to add the lava to make all the arrows on fire. Let's just quickly do that. I don't know why I forgot that, but there we go. The arrows are on fire now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my game is lagging. My game is fine when I look over here, but oh my god. Can you guys tell the lag? Okay, okay, I think there's enough arrows. I'm just gonna press it. I'm just gonna press it. Okay, go. Oh, oh. Is it gonna work? Oh my god! What the heck? They spread it so perfectly in the air. And look at all the arrows on the floor. Bro, there's no way at least one doesn't hit them. Come on, just at least one. And the machine wasn't even fully loaded. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's make this arrow machine look a little bit nicer and build the other three on each side. But with that, the insane arrow raining machines are set up and ready. Oh, I already said this, but I'll say it again. This is gonna look like a war zone when Caleb and Swag comes over. But the second thing on the insane defense list is the machine that'll be able to shoot over 500 TNT over the span of thousands of blocks of land, destroying it all within seconds. No, I'm not kidding. This is... <laughs> This is actually possible. And it's called a super shotgun. And it's actually super simple to build. And to start, we just need to place down dispensers. I'll dispense all the TNT. And this should be, uh, enough. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be insane. Connect them all up with some redstone. And let's quickly test if it works. 
Oh, oh my gosh. On every single one of those clicks you just heard, AT is going to get dispensed through all these dispensers, which is going to look pretty, pretty cool. And I'll launch the TNTs everywhere. Similar to the anvil and arrow rainy machine, we're going to use TNT. But instead of one TNT to launch them everywhere, for the super shotgun, it's going to dispense 24 TNT. So all the TNT on here will launch super far. And I mean really, really far. And to finish us off, we'll just place some glass last walls around like this bam 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 some chains and lastly some water and just like that the super shotgun is finished oh my gosh <laughs> and before we craft up a bunch of tnt to fill up this entire entire machine let's quickly see how far this machine will be able to shoot and i just filled up the launcher with some tnt and let's see how far it launches me oh my oh my god yeah Okay, bro, that... Well, that launched me absolutely nowhere. Okay, I guess it doesn't launch uh, players that far, so let's test TNT. Bam! Alright, 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 let's go. Oh! oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Bro, just imagine that. But 200 times launching everywhere in this field. I'm not even kidding. At the end of this video, this field is gonna be gone. And fill up this entire machine with T... Oh my god, my head. With TNT, we're gonna need a lot. Which I do not have. Of. But it's okay we don't have enough TNT. Because uh, I'm gonna go to bed soon. So I'll just AFK the gunpowder farm uh, overnight. So I'll be back soon. Okay, bye. Alright, it's so the next day and we got a lot of gunpowder. And we still need uh, sand. Oh, uh, man. All right, we should now have enough TNT. So let's build three more super shotguns on each side and fill them all up, which is gonna take a while. And also, I had to build the super shotguns a little bit upwards because uh, I don't want it to blow up the base a little bit. <laughs> but it's time to test it. And please don't blow up anything on the base. I don't want to spend another week to fix it, especially the sand layer. Oh my God. All right, three, two... One, go. Okay, okay, good. Oh my. <laughs> Yo! Bro. Yo! Bro, that was crazy. Yeah, this is a cool machine, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding. That was the low power mode. You really thought this machine can only shoot that much TNT? Nah, bro. I just gotta click this button. Ah! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Yo! Bro, it lagged for a second. I was so scared. Okay, bro. Oh my god. Okay, this has to be the best machine. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo! Bro, just imagine what Caleb and Swag is gonna say when they see this. Just flying towards them. Oh my god. Look at this, bro. Now there's just like a bunch of holes in the ground. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I can't use all my TNT supply before Caleb and Swag even comes. And the last insane defense we're gonna add into the base isn't actually the most deadliest. What is the crucial part on making this the most safest base? And that is a... Elder Guardian. Oh my god, bro. Holy crap, why are you in my face, bro? So let's bring him to the base, which I'm probably making you think this is easy to do. I'm probably struggling super hard right now, and you can't tell. So, you're welcome. No! No! Yeah! Oh! oh. Alright, push him down, and bam! There we go. That was uh, super, super easy. <laughs> but now that we got an Elder Guardian, if people come over, they will get mining fatigue and won't be able to mine blocks that fast if they try. Like, look how slow this is. <laughs> and that's with the efficiency five shovel, bro. And we had to make that the last defense or else we have to worry about mining fatigue while building this whole base, which would be annoying. And to make sure I don't get mining fatigue myself, I'll fill up 29 chests full of milk that I can use. Oh my God. Which all came from this one cow. <laughs> Yo, I think I broke him. Yo, you good? Yeah, I totally have no idea why he's glitched. 
I just got an auto clicker. Let's see how fast we can get milk. Ah! Bro, why is that so? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's traumatized. Bro, I'm so sorry, but I need milk. Yeah, he's definitely traumatized. Well, it's it's for a good cause. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry, bro. But now the base is finished. Well, before I invite my friend over to see if he can break in, I'm just gonna really quickly add red beacons around the base just so the base looks, you know, a little cooler, you know? It adds a little bit of texture. Make some of the walls of the base obsidian. And just in case anything goes wrong, I built a stasis chamber. So now, when I flick this button right here, it will teleport me far away outside of the base you know just in case something goes wrong or you know like you know you know you you know the deal oh yeah and lastly a sign that says stay out there we go hopefully that will help i guess but with that the base is fully finished just imagine you're walking through the woods, mining trees, and you're like, what the? What happened here? What the heck? There's just massive holes everywhere. And then you just see this. <laughs> Yo! Ow. Oh my god. But it's time to invite my friend over to see if this is actually the safest base and if anyone can break in. Bro! Almost after two months, it's time. I'm kinda, I'm kinda scared, bro. You know, I've been working on a new base and it's time. I think it's time to show you. Okay. Just face this direction over here and, uh, no, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 And on the count of one, hide your render distance all the way up. Okay. You mean 10 my render distance all the way up? That's the same thing, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Higher, higher, higher. Oh boy. Okay. Fire it. Okay, it's going. It's loading. There's nothing here, bro. Oh, oh, you oh. see it? Wait. <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait, wait. Come closer. Come closer on the stream. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> bro, that is so loud. <laughs> Holy crap. Now you see it. Can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? Oh, I can't hear you. Right All right, turn off weather. Turn off weather. Okay, okay, okay. What, what do you this think of it? A... What do you think of my new base? Um, you can probably tell it doesn't really look like a, a a regular base, and that's because I built defenses all around it, so uh, you can't get in. I could get in. Bro, no, no, you can't. All right, there's only one rule. <laughs> okay. And that is, you can't use your Elytra. Hey, hey, hey! All right, you ready? I am ready. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Go, 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 uh, go! I'm going, I'm going. Oh, uh. I, oh my God, bro. Nah, but holy crap, this thing is actually insane. <laughs> Bro! Get Bro! What? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I recommend you take cover right now, Caleb. Uh, I recommend you take cover. Caleb, take cover! Wait, why? What the? Oh my god. Wait, was it, it wasn't even close to me, but holy what? Bro, it didn't hit you? Nah, bro. That was so oh. far away. Bro, berries and cactuses? What is this even gonna do, bro? This is, this is easy. Bro, just wait. Just wait. Bro, what happened here? Oh my! Bro, where are you? Bro, a freaking blaze just blew up a crystal in my face. Oh my god. Uh, Caleb, uh, there's some more uh, arrows coming your way, by the way. What? Um, um. Oh my god! That actually came close to the enemy. <laughs> there's nothing really too bad so far. I mean, it's been alright, I guess. Oh god. There's a bunch of crystals here. Why am I standing on my bike? Why was I standing right, on my bike, crystal, bro? I'm so stupid. Okay, blue fire, but what's blue fire gonna do? Bro, you're getting shot by the blazes, bro. Bro. How many blazes? Dude, they don't even see me though. Oh, they see me now. Dude, how long did this take you to get all these blazes? I gotta kill them. I'm killing them, so I'll take that. Nice, nah, don't kill them, bro. <laughs> Think I'm stupid, bro? There's pressure plates here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that dumb, bro. Bro, what do you mean you're not that dumb? Why is there a dispenser here? Help me, my, uh, what? look up really quick. Um, 
Bro, what? Get pranked! Bro, you completely failed. What do you mean I failed? Completely failed. What do you mean I failed? Bro! Oh my god. Bro, that scared the crap out of me. You broke the pressure plates. You just ran on the sand. Bro, these things are very stupid, by the way. Oh, they actually do damage. What the heck? They actually do damage. That's insane. Bro, they're lightning. Where's Guardians? Bro, I can't get up because the freaking the, the 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 honey thing. Bro, oh my god, dude, I'm dying because the lightning. This is crazy. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! What am I doing? I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing. I'm actually throwing. Bro, bro you killed my guardians. Yo! <laughs> what? Bro, what the heck is this, bro? Nah, I I'm not I'm not falling for this. Oh, it's a gas, bro! I didn't even see him. Oh my god. You might you might want to hold two totems right now. Holy crap! Oh, oh my god. Frames. Bro, what is this? It frames. My frames. How is that so effective? Wait, I'm still dying from it. How am I still dying from it? I'm panicking. Oh wait, wait. what? I just got, I just got minor fatigue. Talk about frames, man. Holy crap. There's a creep. <gasps> wait. Oh, I'm so stupid, bro. I just, I just fell in the, I, I fell. There, there ain't no way, bro. How do I break out of this crap? Wait, I need a shovel. I, I do. I'm actually stuck here, bro. Yeah, you stuck bro. on the powdered snow. Bro. Wait, 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 wait. This is stupid. This is stupid. Why? No, this is not, this is not how I die, bro. This is not how I die. Wait, hey, am I dumb? Love. Oh wait, bro, how did how did he place this dirt block above you? I, oh, but I screwed myself. I didn't mean to place this. Wait, no way, like, no way. No way. This is how it ends, bro. Oh my God, bro, are you serious, bro? This is this is pathetic, bro. Bro, bro, actually no, actually you have, to, you have to let me out, bro. I'm actually gonna die, bro. You can join Outcast, bro. Nah, let me All out. All right, then, okay, okay, then you lost, okay? Oh, you lost. Uh. uh Fine, 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 fine. GG's! <laughs> GG's, boys. GG's. 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 Hey, hey, hey! I win! I win! No! no. I won! I won! Yo, I won! Stop! I won! Stop! I won. Stop. I won. Stop.